Hi, this is Dan from Arboreal Systems, and today I want to show you how to set up and use the uh, automated um, circuit activation features uh, built into the Neutrino Black Box Intelligent Device Controller System. So to do that, we're just going to step through a few circuits and set them up. So let's go to circuit one, and uh, we're going to tap the button on the lower right, which is the setup screen, and then we tap the button on the lower left, which is auto circuit control. And in this case, we're going to say we want it to be temperature activated. And we want it to come on uh, when the ambient temperature is less than 55.4 degrees. And we want it to come on at 60%. Now, you can also choose to have a circuit come off, turn off, based on um, the temperature dropping below a certain level. But in this case, we want it on. So if we back out here, we see this is a circuit and auto by itself it um, turns on because the ambient temperature is around 53 degrees, which is lower than where we set it, so it's on. Uh, what's really cool is you can set up any combination of circuits on the system to um, come on based on ambient temperature, and they can all be different. You can have one circuit come on at 55, one come on at 60, one come on at 65, whatever you want. So that's how that works, um, and what's cool is as you're riding along, uh, when the temperature drop uh, goes above the uh, cutoff level, the circuit will automatically turn off. For circuit two, we're going to go and set that guy up differently. We're going to set that one up to automatically deploy based on sunset. So in this case, what we do is we say, yeah, I want it to come on at sunset, and I want it to come on at 25%. You could also say, I want the circuit to turn off at sunset. The choice is yours, but we're going to do that. So uh, the way this works then is that no matter where you are in the world, um, the system will automatically know uh, what day of the year it is and what time the sunset is uh, based on where you are, based on your GPS coordinates. And so once you set this, it'll always be correct no matter where you are. Uh, this is great for automatically turning on lights that you want to turn on at night. Um, you don't have to worry about it. Again, you can set up any combination of circuits to have um, uh, to be sunset activated or deactivated, um, and they can all be different based on you know, different offsets, whatever you want. Um, so very, very, very flexible. And of course, once sunrise arrives, if you're going to ride all night, it'll automatically turn the circuit off. For the third circuit, we're going to go and do something different. In this case, we're going to say we want it to be uh, activated based on relay. And what this means is that we have a, a terminal in uh, the version 2 uh, neutrino black box that um, will accept an input, electrical input, from uh, another source. Typically this would be a switched circuit somewhere else on the bike. So in this case, let's say it's your, uh, your high beams. So in this case what we're going to do is we're going to set this up so that um, when it senses 12 volts on this input, it'll automatically turn on your driving lights, in this case, at 50%. Um, so that's really cool because what happens is you're riding along, you hit your high beams, and these lights come on uh, all by themselves. And <clears throat> when you uh, turn the high beams off, they shut off. Conversely, you could set up the circuit to do the opposite. You could say when it senses ground, uh, on the circuit or nothing at all on the circuit, turn the lights on. Um, so you could actually have a situation where you've got, say, two sets of uh, auxiliary lights. One you want to come on when the, um, uh, when the high beams are on and one you want to shut off when the high beams are on. And you could configure two circuits to control those and they would both do exactly what you want to do uh, without your having to interfere, intervene at all. So totally automated. Um, what's cool about this is that you can set up any combination of circuits to be um, activated or deactivated based on any combination of thing or anything. So you could set up a few circuits to automatically deploy uh, based on ambient temperature. You could set some others to automatically deploy based on uh, sunset. And you could set up still others to automatically deploy based on uh, relay switch inputs. So it's super, super flexible. Each circuit is totally independent. It gives you uh, the ability to configure your electrical system to do pretty much anything you want it to do. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact us and we'll be happy to help you 
with uh, any install or use questions that you might have. Thank you.